This is Minecraft one block, and I am standing on, you guessed it, one block. Shocker. If I break this block, I get a completely new block. It could be dirt, it could be wood, it could be diamonds. Stick around to find out if I can beat the Ender Dragon in 100 days. I used my first 30 dirt to expand my island, and once I started getting oak logs, I was able to make a crafting table and my first wooden tools. Now, I've never played this mod before, so I have no clue what's going to happen, I have no clue how I'm going to get to the end, how I'm going to get to the nether, how anything's going to work, all I know is that right now I'm getting moss and wood, and something unexpected happens, I get a villager. It says step 2, and I get the one block villager. He's going to trade me wood for iron, which is huge, and cobblestone for a tree sapling and wheat. I made the villager a little space for him to sit and not get around on my island and fall off. And it seems like he doesn't restock his trades, but I'm going to see what happens next. I continued mining my block until suddenly I got another villager. This was a wandering trader and he had some insane trades, which some of them I couldn't even do right now. I then started to get some stone from my one block and I was able to use it to make stone tools and a furnace and start smelting up the raw iron I got. My wandering trader then decided that it hated me so he respawned as a completely new wandering trader with different trades which is actually awesome because this means that he's going to continue doing this and I'm going to continue getting awesome trades from him. I then started getting iron and coal from my one block which was awesome because I could use the iron to upgrade my tools and the coal to get torches and smelt my food. After mining my one block for a long time I started work on a mob farm farther away from my base so that I could get mob drops. It immediately started working as I had two zombies spawn and I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more as there's basically no blocks for them to try to spawn on which means that I'm going to have a ton out there. I spent the next few days expanding my mob farm, building up the walls and the ceiling so that it would be dark enough for them and making walls on the sides of my pathway so that I don't fall off. Two creepers decided it would be a good idea to try to blow up part of my pathway and I barely blocked them off and killed them. My mob farm was working overtime, there was loads of mobs in there, including three baby zombies that caught fire and then attacked me catching me on fire. I almost died to them, but thankfully I built up and I managed to kill them. I forgot to light up the roof of my mob farm and some creepers blew up part of it because they spawned and wouldn't despawn in the sun. Then more creepers blew up. And more creepers blew up. I was sick of the creepers blowing up on me, so I decided to build a giant drop chute for the mobs to walk towards me and then they fall down into this giant chute and they die and they get collected and I don't have to fight them at all. I really needed feathers and leather from cows and chickens, so I made a staircase and then I decided to build a giant circle of grass up there so that they'll spawn up there and then I can kill them. I started to get deep slate in my one block and I knew what that meant, it probably meant diamonds and I was right as I got my first diamonds and this was awesome, this means I'm going to be getting diamonds from my one block and I can get diamond gear, diamond armor and an enchanting setup. My next many many days consisted of just collecting stuff from my mob farm, expanding my giant circle of grass and mining my one block. I wasn't getting any obsidian from my one block so I couldn't go to the nether and I didn't have any kind of way to get obsidian otherwise, but once I started getting obsidian from my one block, I would be heading straight into the nether. Thankfully, soon I managed to get obsidian, I got 14 obsidian, I used 10 to make a nether portal like this, and I have 4 for an enchanting table, and in the nether there is absolutely nothing. I have to make my own platform, and use that to get zombified piglins, piglins, and hoglins. I made a small platform for blazes and other things to spawn and I ended up with a bunch of blazes and piglins spawning there and ending up attacking me because I didn't have any gold on. I almost died to them and then back in the overworld the blazes managed to get through my portal and they started setting everything on fire and it was really bad. I almost died a couple times and most of my wood platform burned down including my trees but it wasn't a big deal because I could rebuild everything because wood is infinite. 
I ended up making just a big house almost for all the mobs to spawn in so that the blazes couldn't rise up out and I could sort of funnel how they attacked me or just stop them from attacking me completely. I still had lots of hoglins and those were really annoying but other than that everything was going great in the nether. Right up until a hoglin I was trying to kill with some flint and steel and fire ended up hitting me off my platform. I fell into the void and lost all of my stuff but thankfully I had extra diamonds so I was able to get my gear back but it was really annoying losing all of my levels. Later on I was fighting a baby zombie when suddenly he just froze. He wouldn't attack me, he wouldn't move towards me. All he was doing was glancing up at me and then looking back down. I ended up moving a little bit and then he started attacking me again, but it's definitely a weird glitch. Then I made a redstone contraption that would drop TNT down onto all the blocks that my one block was making. And this actually sped up my one block progress by a lot because each explosion destroyed about five blocks. So every TNT I had or every gunpowder I had would destroy one block. And the gunpowder was really easy to get from creepers from my mob farm. I spent hours trading with piglins, killing blazes, collecting endstone and collecting skulk to be able to make my end portal and go to the end. This is the final result of me getting everything for the end portal and building it and as you can see there's purple particles and then boom we have an end portal. Then all I had to do I thought was just get some eyes vendor I could go to the end and it'd be super easy. But on day 64 my one block broke, the data pack broke and I had no way to get extra gold. The only way I could get gold is through killing zombified piglins, which wasn't working great as they were only giving me gold nuggets. But after many hours I managed to get the ender pearls from my piglins and I was able to head into the end. I shot crystal after crystal, then I died to an enderman, but finally in the end after a long fight with the ender dragon, I killed it. I got my XP and I went back to my spawn. This has been a great time beating Minecraft. It has been so long in the making. I spent over 30 hours on this video alone and it spent over 17 hours recording on it. So any kind of like, comment or subscribe would help out a ton. We got to day 71, I'm not going to go to day 100 because there would be too little for me to do and that's too much time, but I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.